focal length refers to how wide your lens is. This is my new to me Sigma 14 to 24 mil lens. Reminds me a little bit of my old Canon 10 to 18 mil lens. However, that one was for APS-C sensors, whereas this is a full frame lens on a full frame camera. So the 10 to 18 was equivalent to 16 to 28 roughly compared to the, cause that had a 1.6 time crop on my 600D and 70D. But this, so this is slightly wider than that. Also, this camera has autofocus, so it's a lot nicer. But this would be used if you were doing vlogging, because people still do that in 2024, apparently. Or if you were shooting real estate. I plan on doing neither, but I just wanted a wider lens than the 28 to 70 that I got, because I should have bought a 24 to 70. But I didn't, because that one was like an extra 500 quid at the time. Because when I bought that, used from MPB as well. I paid 780 quid for this lens. It's in good condition. It's got some cosmetic marks, but the image seems to be pretty much perfect. I'm holding you about arm's length away, and this is the sort of look that you can get if you were to vlog. You'd probably use like a Gorilla Pod or a Manfrotto or Pixie Evo or some shit. I don't know. Do I still own that? I don't know, you know. Oh, what a great little memory. I forgot about that. And this is the sort of thing you can get. So that's 14 mil. That's 24 mil. Bring it in like close to me. <laughs> I don't know if I go all that distorted. And to me, it looks like I'm in focus. And I'm what? About three inches away from the front element? The only drawback to this lens is that it has a raised front element, which means you can't put ND filters on it. However, you can take the back, when you take it off the camera, there is a bit where you can slot some filters in. So I might have to invest in some of those if I want to use it outdoors, which I suppose if you're a vlogger, you probably would. I think it would be perfect for the new Lumix S9 because that's a small body, so that'd be good for vlogging. This is quite heavy. <laughs> it does have a bit of heft to it, so that's like another drawback. But like, like I say, I don't think I'm going to be doing much vlogging because the year is 2024, not 2016. But, yeah. Another thing that this lens has as well is that it is a 2.8mm lens, so I should have a nice-ish depth of field, whereas with the 10 to 18 which is an F4 to 5.6, I think, if I remember correctly. So that wouldn't have given me any sort of background bokeh. But this should, if I... Uh, Use it properly. Another thing I quite like is that it doesn't really distort lines all that much. Let's have a look when I get this door frame to the edge of the frame at 14mm. It doesn't look like it. If I stand straight with the door and I'll use the viewfinder to see. Lines look pretty straight, so it'd be good for... Like I said, it'd be good for real estate. You're there in the corner of the room trying to show off how big the room is. But yeah, perfect. Well, I think this would make a really good vlogging lens, but like I say, people don't make vlogs of it. Time to think. Focal length is basically... What the, fuck are you, what the fuck are you doing? Nobody's talking to you, you schizophrenic cunt. Also, another thing I quite like is it. Are you fucking schizophrenic? You must be.